warm and comfortable in a Defender. That's got to be too good to be true. Hello guys and welcome back to TSPEC TV. Today, as you've probably already guessed, we are doing heated seats in my TD5. Now, we've already done a video on how to install bucket seats, which we did with Nissa's car, but we haven't done anything with heated seats, which is what these are. Unfortunately, um, these actually came already put together, so we can focus on the wiring today because these are just going to go straight on top of the old seat bases. The seats come from a company called Powerful UK and include all the mounting parts straight out of the box, as well as the drill bit you'll need to mount the switches. They are a very reasonable price compared to many of the name brand seats available on the market. The one downside being that unlike the standard seats, you'll need to remove the whole seat to access the battery, so it's a good idea to make sure you're carrying around the right tools. Obviously, to get the new seats in, we're first going to have to take the old ones out, but we need to get the base and sliders out as well, so we can mount them to the new bucket seats. Oh, that's not very heavy. Detaching the sliders from the old seats is done by undoing six large screws on top of the runners. If you're thinking of installing these seats yourself, you may first want to ensure your original sliders are in good condition, otherwise taking them apart and reusing them could cause some hassle. In our case, we resorted to using an impact driver to get them loose. If you do reuse the original sliders like we did, it's a good opportunity to give them a good clean. Then it's just a case of attaching the new bases before moving on to the wiring. So we've done the easiest bit of the job, which is just to get the seats into the car um, and put them on the base plates and everything else. Now we've got to do the tricky bit, which is the wiring and figuring out how we're going to get all this um, and all the wiring up through um, up to the dashboard and everything. Um, but we just had a thought, and that is what we could actually do instead of having this this switch uh, for the seats sticking out of the uh, dashboard here, we could actually because this is so sort of chunky and also not very long. We could actually just have the switch like here on the fuse box. So it'd still be down here and still be perfectly within reach and visible and all, um, but it would just save us a hell of a lot of effort. So um, yeah, that's the next step. After some consideration, we'd made up our minds. To provide a 12 volt feed for the heating function of the seats, we're wiring them into the battery and then soldering in the provided fuse for each seat. Oh, it's actually warming up. Give it a minute. <laughs> okay, I'll just, just film me for a minute then. I just got really no, scared for a second there because the smoke was coming off the solder. I was like, oh god, Liam, get out! <laughs> really quite hot there. Oh, my trousers are on fire. It's nice. Are you not feeling any heat yet? Yeah, I said it's Yeah, nice. yeah, <laughs> I was going to say, I, was, yeah, I thought I could do. Then ensure all of the bolts holding the seats down are done up tightly. Then it's just a matter of feeding all of the wiring under the car's trim and into the dash where we want our switch.
And there we have it, arguably one of the simpler modifications we've done, because basically most of it was just wiring and Nissa knows how to do that, so yeah. we just did that. That was that, it wasn't much to it. Um, but uh, apart from that, go check out all the stuff down in the description, uh, links to our social media pages and our website, including our shop where you can buy tier spec TV clothing, uh, if that's what you want, which you should want, you want it. Apart from that, I now have a Defender with heated seats, um, therefore I have effectively anything a man could ever want. So um, it's, been, it's been fun here on tier spec TV, but um, I think I'm set for life. So see you guys. I'm done. I guess I'm gonna be doing all the talking bits now. Mm.